I wanted to make sure I really understood where everything was going and how it worked, so I untaped some of the the harness that came with it so I could see where everything goes. A couple of the big main ones to to be aware of is it has a re a positive and a negative that goes straight here. Um, and so this, you've got the positive and negative, this is going to be plugged into your 72 volt battery, right? So, um, so you've got your main power leads going into the positive and negative of the controller. They have on this wire harness, you have a positive or negative coming off of that. So basically this is 72 volts coming out. These two wires go into the harness and you can see the black is split right here and this black is split three ways um, so it goes one of them goes to the uh, step down 72 to 12 volt box so that's one of these black negatives one of the other black negatives goes to this harness which goes to the back of the bike so this is the harness that goes to your tail lights everything in the in the back the blinkers and the tail light so you've got a third black one that goes actually it looks like they've got two black ones going to the back and then you've got um, yeah so you have three black ones one going to that and two going to the back um, one for your tail light and two for your left and right blinkers and then you've got the black going to the front of the harness right here so you've got your negative off of your battery that goes a lot of places three of which are in the back and then you've got the 72 volt off the battery red here that goes through the harness all the way to your switch basically it goes here so if you follow this this is the only place that this 72 volt red wire goes to the bat to the switch so when you don't have the switch on no power goes anywhere and it doesn't drain your battery while you're parked somewhere and coming off of this you've got your yellow wire the blue wire isn't used this is the harness that the, that the switch plugs into. So the yellow wire comes back. So you've got this yellow wire that has 72 volts now coming back from the, the switch. And you can see right here, it goes back down the harness is one spot. And the other one, if you notice, the other yellow one goes up here into this harness that goes to your display. So it goes to that. So that will have 72 volts going into it from this yellow wire. Okay, and then the other yellow wire goes back through this and you can see the, the yellow wire splits in two spots, right? So that yellow wire comes back and it goes one of those two goes through this down to here so you've got your 72 volts going into your 72 to 12 volt power uh, step down <clears throat> and that leaves the pink wire that feeds all your 12 volt battery stuff so you've got 12 volts so the other yellow wire goes back to the ignition right here so it plugs into that orange one off of the controller and that's what tells your controller to turn on and that you've got your 72 volts got it so you've got the red power going to the switch it switches to yellow and it goes to two places one to here to give you your 12 volt source and the other one goes to the controller so that's that so now now that we've got it stepped down to 12 volts you can follow this pink wire and the pink wire coming out of here is from there it goes to it goes straight into the harness 
so you can see that pink wire goes right into this harness so it comes out over here and you can see it's split <clears throat> three four ways one two three four yeah so there's four pink wires off of that so all four of these are 12 volt source for your various lights and whatever else you need 12 volts for so you can see one of them go into this <clears throat> harness which is the one that goes up to your blinkers and your high low beams and your horn so that's one of the 12 volt sources one of the other ones goes to this which has two plugs on it and you can use this to power um whatever you need to like um i'm not sure because the other one goes to this one and i have no idea what this is made for what it's supposed to go into so if you if you know let me know that would be great and then the other blue the other pink one goes into this harness which this is the harness that goes to your one two three speeds your lights on off um there's three settings on your lights and then whatever this switch is that p switch so you've got four pink wires coming out of here one to there one one to each of your handle controls one to this harness and one to this and and that's it you got those you got those four and um so that's that's those so that that's your power so now you know where all the power is and goes to and you could see why it's split so many different ways the black the negative i was talking about that comes over here it it comes out into uh right here you could see the black is comes out one two three four five different yeah there's five different um, negative battery lines that come to the front of the harness one that goes to your display one that goes to uh, two of them go to this side control and one of them so that's three of them and then one of them goes to your headlight this is the plug for your headlights uh, high low beams and uh, and your negative and the positive i believe must be coming off of the switch i haven't plugged the headlights in yet although i've tested it with the voltmeter um so you have a bunch of negatives the weird thing is none of these negatives go to this one which i don't understand um it must be going through a different a different one to get there which is weird um let's see so so we know how the switch is wired we know how the ignition is wired we know how the 12 volt power for everything is getting distributed um, the other things the another line here this is your throttle um, no this is your speed control so this one comes off of the controller and it goes into this blue yellow black and goes all the way to the front and then it comes out a uh, uh, this one right here this funny looking one so it's it has the the two connect the only two connectors that fit together so it's fairly easy to to wire this one up um, this is your your um, your your uh, speed sorry your your high medium and low speed that's what this is high medium low speed sorry um, yeah yeah so you've got this one coming off high medium low speed off of the controller and then it only takes the blue and the yellow bl uh, yellow green uh, blue white and yellow black yeah yellow black and then it comes out over here and 
oh sorry this is the throttle um comes out over here and it plugs into this that's right it's part of this big harness um because this has the one two three speeds on it uh, and then this is your actual throttle this is the throttle which is black green red white black green red white and your throttle is this one yeah so the throttle comes off of the controller plugs into this one goes through the harness and plugs into this one and then the high low medium speed come is actually part of this cluster so once you plug it into here you know you're good on that so you've got this is another one this is that alarm thing that we don't use or at least not yet this is your ignition this is your throttle um, this is your one two three speeds and this one is part of the the display so this purple wire plugs into the blue wire and then when you follow it down it actually comes out and into this which goes into your display so it plugs into your display it's just part of this setup the other ones in here are your um, 72 volt yellow wire your blinkers left and right are the blue and the orange and then the headlight one is the dark blue yeah the dark blue and your negative is black so you know what these six wires are um, and like I said the blinkers left and right blinkers are blue light blue and orange and it splits here to go back to the back and also splits um, it, and it also goes up to your front blinkers and back blinkers so that's why the blue and the orange come out of here go to the front and to the back to give you blinkers in front and back um, and then there's a few wires that are related to your headlights uh, that jump back and forth like the brown the gray wire jumps uh, I think it's the brown wire that jumps from this harness to that harness um, so depending upon what your your build is if you want the 12 volt battery uh, the 12 volt power to run lights then you'll need to kind of follow what I just said with the the power but most of these connectors um, are plug and play um, so it's nice that it comes with the harness that pl everything plugs into and you don't have to change much um, I've tested a lot of it with the voltmeter and so far everything's been good except for the blinkers for some reason I've run the blinkers pretty sure I ran them correctly but they're not working so I'm gonna do some more testing on that but I thought I would at least give you guys an idea of how all the pink 12 volt um, lines go um, the 72 volt yellow lines where they went how the black gets split up because all of this is taped together so you don't see any of this when you get the harness and it's a little bit of a ha of a hassle to figure out where everything goes um, hopefully this video will help you um, know where everything is so you don't have to tear it all apart as much as I did but I'm gonna retape everything and clean it up and then uh, zip tie and get all the wiring kind of tucked where it needs to go um, like I said I've pretty much got everything else in place so I can do some testing here pretty soon I did get a new chain in the mail yesterday so I was able to put that on and should have this running down the street later today hopefully and then the biggest thing is I'm gonna figure out the blinkers and still got a little bit more to do with the headlights um, and then I'm gonna the big thing is the battery I have some small batteries I just test with but I'm gonna have to work on getting my big batteries in there 
but uh, hopefully this video will help you guys with your wiring it's a little bit of a rat's nest and I will talk to you at the next video